may okay ngayon meron tayong problem tapos i-apply natin yung voltage division a series circuit consists of three resistors RA, RB, and RC these resistors are connected in series with a 220 volts battery the current is 4 amperes and a voltage drop of 40 volts was measured across RA if RB is twice the value of RC, find the values of the three resistors. So, let us draw. Parang mas madali kasi pag dinodrawing natin ang ating mga circuit. So, meron daw tayong series circuit consisting of three resistors. So, this one is one resistor. 2 and 3 and ang tawag daw dyan is RA RB and RC and ang connection natin na ito ay connected sa battery na binigay din yung value which is 220 volts ayan na yung ating series at ang total voltage natin is 220 volts. Ang sabi pa niya dito, the current is 4 amperes. Therefore, yung nag-flow na current sa ating circuit is 4 amperes. So, kapag series circuits, alam natin na ang current is the same all throughout. Okay? And then, 40 volt drop was measured here. So, dito across RA, meron tayong na measure na voltage drop which is, we can just call VA na 40 volts. Yan. So, nagbigay sa atin na 40 volts daw ako sa RA. Hindi natin alam ang values ng RB and RC pero sinabi niya dito na RB is twice the value of RC. RB is twice the value of RC. Therefore, pwede nating palitan yung value ng RB ng 2RC para pwede natin silang i-add. And pag dalawa na lang ang resistors natin, pwede tayong gumamit ng voltage division. So, let's just say this RB is equal to 2RC here. Pwede na nating i-merge yung dalawa, 2RC plus RC. Kasi series resistors yan, i-add mo lang sila. Ngayon, mare-reduce na yung drawing natin na ganito. Pag nakuha natin yung principles nito, mas madali na lang siyang isolve kahit hindi natin nire-redraw lahat. So, let's say this is RA and this is 3RC. Bakit naging 3RC? Kasi nga 2RC plus 1RC. Okay? Pwede natin silang i-add kasi consistent yung ating mga unknowns dyan. So, algebra. Ngayon, makukuha natin agad yung RA kasi given yung voltage across dito. Ang voltage dito is 40 volts. And given din sa atin ang total current, yung current natin na nag-flow dito ay 4 amperes. So, remember voltage sa ohms law voltage is equal to current times the resistance so nakuha natin yung VA dyan so here pag i-apply natin yung ohms law dito kasi VA is equal to I total kasi series so pare-pareho lang ang value ng I times RA now alam natin na ang VA is 40 volts Alam naman natin na ang R total is 4 amperes. Therefore, RA na lang ang unknown. RA is equal to 40 volts divided by 4 amperes. Voltage over current is equal to resistance. So, this is 10 ohms. Okay. So, alam na natin ang value ng RA. Ito is 220 volts. Now, pwede na natin kunin yung value ng RC using voltage divider formula. Remember, pagkukunin natin yung voltage dito sa voltage divider natin, VA is equal to V total times 
RA divided by the summation of the two resistances in series. So, RA plus 3 RC. Now, pag ilalagay natin yung values, alam natin na ang VA is 40 volts and alam din natin na 220 volts ang ating total voltage. Nakuha na natin yung RA kanina, that is 10 ohms, divided by 10 ohms plus 3 RC. Using our calculator, pwede na tayong mag-shift solve. Kung gusto natin, pwede din tayong mag-algebra. So, ipapasok lang natin yung mga values. 40 is equal to, so I'm also showing you how to use shift solve. 220, pwede natin ilagay yung division dyan. 10, known value, 10 plus 3x, kasi hindi natin alam. And then you just press shift and solve and then the equal sign. Makukuha natin na ang RC is equal to 15 ohms. So kung 15 ohms ang ating RC, ang ating RB kanina is twice RC. So RB is equal to 2 RC. Therefore, twice of 15. In, RB now is equal to 30 ohms. Okay? So, meron na tayong mga values. So, kung kukunin natin ang total resistance, R total pag series circuit is equal to the summation of all the resistances in series. Ang R total natin is simply RA plus RB plus RC which is R total 10 plus 15 plus 30 lahat to is in ohms so ang R total natin is 55 ohms tada yan na po ang sagot ok now I will show you Okay. Oops. Okay. Now, okay. Now I will show you using another method. Series circuits, we know that I total is equal to V total over the total resistance. Ngayon sa problem natin, given ang ating total current na 4 amperes, kasi pag series, pare-pareho lang yan. So, 4 amperes, alam din natin yung value ng total voltage, which is 220 volts. Using algebra, we get R total is equal to 220 volts divided by 4 amperes. So, dividing this, we get 55 ohms. So, kanina nakuha natin siya. But, let's say, ganito yung process natin. Pwede din kasi maraming way para makuha natin yung sagot. And then, we know that our total is 55 ohms. And we also know that RB is twice RC. Therefore, yung R total natin na RA plus RB plus RC is also equal to R total RA plus, since 2RC plus RC, that is 3RC. Ngayon, alam natin sa sinov natin kanina na 55 ohms ang ating total na um, resistance. And then, makukuha din natin dito yung RA kasi alam natin yung voltage drop dito sa taas na 40 and yung current natin is 4. So, remember, V over A is resistance. So, we have 40 divided by 4, 40 volts. So, we have 40 volts divided by 4 amperes plus 3 RC. 
now we can get this one is 55 ohms 10 ohms plus 3 RC using algebra we get RC is equal to or to subtract 45 divided by 3 therefore our RC is now equal to 15 ohms so that is our value and to get RB it's just twice RC which is 15 ohms that is 30 ohms okay so that is for today and thank you for listening remember that God loves us